We last talked about the Great Lakes ice coverage on January 19th. Back then, according to the Great Lakes Environmental Research Lab, Lake Erie's ice coverage was at 2.87% and Lake Ontario's was at 1.49%. But has ice coverage increased at all since then? Total Great Lakes ice coverage has increased from 3% in mid-January to 8.4% now, but historically we should be seeing peak ice coverage now until early March with ice coverage closer to 30 to 40% by now. On this day last year, we were up to 37.6%. But as of now, Lake Erie is ice-free at 0%, and Lake Ontario is only seeing levels at 0.89%. Back in early February, the ice coverage overall peaked for the season up to 21%, and this was in response to a cold snap of air, and it has declined ever since. Average ice cover for individual lakes is typically higher at this time of year as well. For example, the average for Lake Erie for the state is closer to 70% and Lake Ontario is about 20%. This putting us at historically low coverage for the Great Lakes overall. But why the lack of ice? According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, air temperatures in an above average January are to blame. The average temperature was approximately 5 degrees above average overall for January across the United States. Low ice coverage is a concern because it can lead to extreme lake effect snow scenarios. From Elmira, I'm Anna Myers, 18 News.